well, welcome back. I've added a few more fake names and uh, cases. Uh, I actually used a random function in Excel to generate these and then simply copy paste it. Um, what I always like to do is, if somebody sends me a file to check if they've entered it correctly, is uh, very simply go to Analyze Descriptive Statistics Frequencies, reset, and then select all of them. Make sure the display frequency tables is checked. I hit OK and I get all the frequency tables. I'm not going to check them really in details, but I'm simply going to look at for each of them the valid the options that are listed and a little bit at the frequency. And so far it all seems to be OK. Yeah, there's a no yes every time. But wait, here for example there is a 22, so that should have been probably a 2, so then I need to go actually back to my original data and see if I mistyped, uh, mistyped it. Uh, this is at what is your favorite brand, so going back to my brand, right click and sort ascending, or actually in this case sort descending, there is a 22 and I replace it by a 2. Um, I could now use the, again, analyze descriptive statistics frequencies, but I'm trusting that it's okay now. So I'll switch back to my output. There's an incomplete, and uh, that's my assigned missing one, but there's also a system missing one, which means that I forgot to enter one as well. So back to the data, and in the data, right click sort ascending indeed there is a blank one which means I forgot to enter it because if I would have entered it I would have put 9999 if the person had skipped it so I clearly forgot to enter this one so I need to go back to my original files and have a look at what this person actually said as a brand I actually did that and it turned out to be brand number three which if I'm not mistaken was indeed Puma Okay, so this also shows why those missing values can be useful because that way any blank in your data file um, is actually an indication that you as a researcher forgot to enter something. It's therefore also sometimes advisable because you might be sorting these variables to actually have an additional variable all the way in the beginning, insert variable and give it an ID, uh, which is for example the respondent number because that way you can actually keep those here and normally the first one is the first but after sorting it that might change so uh, this way you can actually enter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 all the way up to 50 or use Excel to quickly do that and copy paste it in here um, let's continue from the output check where's my output there it is those are sorted no yes no yes no yes no yes uh, the blanks here which is the specified one which is okay and uh, there's missing but it's okay they all seem to be okay so that's basically it so the data file appears to be kind of okay and that's it